Hey, sweet friends, I'm going to read you a story about a frog. This is called The Frog with the Big Mouth, retold by Teresa Bateman, illustrated by Will Terry. Once there was a frog who lived in the rainforest by Iguazu Falls, where Argentina meets Brazil. He was a young frog, a new frog, a barely more than a polywog frog who was more who was more mouth than body or brain and still had much to learn. One day while eating his with his family, he caught a big fly, a huge fly, an enormous fly. He opened his mouth up wide, 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 and gulped it down. <laughs> Look at me, he cried with a braggy bounce. I'm the frog with the big mouth. I've eaten the biggest fly in the whole world. Don't you wish you were me? His brothers and sisters shrugged and kept on eating. Not very nice. So the frog with the big mouth set out to find someone else to impress. Soon he caught sight of something with a big, bright bill and feathers. Then two eyes popped up above the orange bill and blinked at him. Hello, I'm the frog with the big mouth, the frog said with a happy hop. I've eaten the biggest fly in the whole world. It's clear I've got the other frogs beat. Who are you and what do you eat? Well, said the bird, I'm a toco toucan. I can eat fruits and eggs and sometimes seeds. A tasty spider suits my needs. I don't chase flies, big ones or small. Small, no flies don't interest me at all. Too bad, too bad, said the frog with the big mouth. Don't you wish you were me? And he continued down the path. Hmm. Suddenly, a creature with a narrow triangular nose peeked out of a bush and sniffed at him. It had small ears, a furry body, and a long, long striped tail. The frog was a little nervous, but that didn't stop him. Hello, I'm the frog with the big mouth, he said with a little leap. I've eaten the biggest fly in the whole world. I've got frogs and a toco toucan beat. Who are you and what do you eat? The furry creature climbed up a nearby tree. I'm a coati. I eat fruits and termites, sometimes mice. Roots and lizards are also nice. I tried flies once, if I recall. Now flies don't interest me at all. Too bad, too bad, said the frog with the big mouth. Don't you wish you were me? He continued along the path, looking for others to amaze. Soon, he came to a pond. A head poked out of the water, then a big brown furry creature pulled himself onto the shore. Hello, I'm the frog with the big mouth, said the frog with a jubilant jump. I've eaten the biggest fly in the whole world. I've got frogs, toco toucan, and a cody beet. Who are you and what do you eat? Mmm, that's not very nice. The animal shook a little water from his fur. I'm a capybara. I eat leaves and plants that grow in water, grass, and such are my favorite fodder. I don't eat flies, big ones or small. No flies don't interest me at all. Too bad, too bad, said the frog with the big mouth. Don't you wish you were me? By now the frog was getting a little tired, but he kept hopping along wanting to brag just a little more before heading home. Then he stopped in the path something moved. It was speckled and twisty and blocking his way. Hmm. He hopped over the twitchy thing and followed it until he came to a furry spotted body and a large head that turned to look at him. The strange creature smiled showing sharp teeth. But that didn't stop the frog. Hello, I'm the frog with the big mouth, he said with a saucy skip. I've eaten the biggest fly in the whole world. I've got, fr I've got frogs, toco toucan, coati, and capybara beet. Who are you and what do you eat? 
the creature stood, stretched his tail, twist, and his tail twisted faster. I'm a jaguar, he purred. Cody's and toucans are nice to chew, and I eat capybaras, too. I don't eat flies, big ones or small. No flies don't interest me at all, but my favorite type of chow is big mouth frog, and here's one now. The frog with the big mouth gulped and without thinking took a stupendous spring high, high, high over the jaguar's head and into a nearby tree. Look at me, he cried. I'm the frog with the big jump. Don't you wish you were me? He leaped from the branch, hurrying home to tell his brothers and sisters and anyone else along the way. The End